Hey there, Adoers. Jose Ignacio here with another tutorial. Now that you've started working with Odoo, let's take a moment to explore the interface together. It might seem daunting at first, but don't worry. The layout stays consistent across all apps, so you're going to get the hang of it in no time. By the end of this demo, I promise you, you're going to be navigating Odoo like me, or perhaps a pro. So let's dive into the database and take a closer look at some of these features, shall we? So here I am on the main Odoo dashboard. This is where you're going to see all of the applications and modules that you've installed. In this top right corner that we have up here at the top, I see a few other icons. If I click on this red dot that we have over here, you'll notice that it's a check-in slash checkout switch integrated with the attendance app. To the right of that, we have this nice little handy telephone indicating that voice over IP or VoIP for my acronym lovers has been installed. I can make phone calls from here. Remember that you require a provider supporting Odoo for this usage. So following this, we're gonna get rid of you real quick. We have our nice little Odoo AI button, which allows us to leverage AI in our workflows. In order to use AI, you are gonna need an API key. The next icon that I overzealously and over eagerly clicked was our chat bubble. And this links us to all of our conversations in the discuss module. And if we click on this little clock over here, it links us to all of our activities along with each app that we happen to have one in. Now, next to that, I have a nice little tool set so clicking this actually takes us to a different sort of similar screen. So in this view, it means that I have Odoo Studio installed and I can click on this icon inside of any application to edit the look of the app and even add in new fields if necessary. And that's pretty cool. So let's close that out. Up next after that, I happen to have our multi-company toggle and this will only be present if you have the multi-company setting enabled in your database. So, Let's see what happens when I click something like our Belgium HQ. Boom. I get taken over to my other database. But let's go back over here to our SF Murica one. All right, perfect. You can also see that I happen to have my Chicago branch and some other stuff present. So the last icon that we have is actually me. It's the user profile icon. When we click on that, we have a bunch of options. And we see that we have the very first one that I want to talk about, shortcuts. So clicking this actually takes us to our shortcut menu. And here I can start typing in certain things. So this pop-up can also be accessed by entering, in my case, it's going to be Control K. Oh, no, wait, I'm on a Mac, it's Apple K. Okay, and then we type in our forward slash along with an app name like sales. And then it takes us directly there, boom. So if we want to reach something like product variants faster, all I actually have to start typing in is product. And look at that, product variants right there at the very bottom, super intuitive. So that makes navigating Odoo pretty easy once that you know that, and you can actually just get there once you just start typing in random gibberish. Okay, so back over here, I want to open up that profile icon once again, because there's something else I want to talk about. So when you actually click on your My Databases link, it takes you to the databases that you have and all of your Odoo ones that were created with your email. Lastly, you'll see the final option, which is to log out. I don't wanna do that right now. I wanna stay logged in. So let's talk about my preferences. Okay, inside of this pop-up, you can change things such as whether or not you wanna use Odoo dark mode. I'm gonna show that real quick because it looks pretty cool. Or other options such as how you want your notifications, the language, and actually the language field is important because inside of here, I could see that it's set to English. However, as you can imagine, Odoo offers the option to load many different languages. Perhaps you have some users from Belgium who speak French. Well, that's not really an option, but how do I install a new language? Well, actually we click on this nice little globe icon over here. Okay, so which language do we want? Once again, we want French for those guys over there in Belgium with the BE. Perfect. All right. So once that we did that and we typed it in, we'll notice that if we have an Odoo website installed, Odoo will also ask us if we want to translate that website. We don't need to select any sites right now. So once we're done, we just hit add. Perfect. Okay, now at this point, it'll just swap over, add in this new language. Oh, actually, I forgot it doesn't swap over. It's going to present me with the option to switch to French right away, or I can simply keep English as my language which I'm going to do so by hitting close right there. So 
by default. However, you will only be able to see the preferences and account security tabs if you do not happen to have administrative privileges. The other apps and modules and the options appear if you have things like employees and so on installed. So be sure to check out our HR tutorials for more information on that topic. But let's also briefly take a look at the account security settings because they're pretty important. So inside of here, we can change our password or toggle two-factor on and off. Both of those are pretty important. Below that, we have a couple of other options like log out from all devices in case you have a couple of those. And I'm gonna blur this out because I see my IP address right now. So here we are on our main dashboard. Let's actually open up the CRM application. Okay, so in every application, there's a little app icon in the top left corner. And when you press it, it takes you right back to the main dashboard. And in the very same place on the screen, you actually have the ability to go back to your previous view. Look at that, we're right back where we were. So inside of here, I'd like to address the elephant in the room. What is this little icon over here and what is going on? Well, this one happens to be our nice little guided tour, but it could also present itself as a banner on whatever application your first time setup happens on. And this happens to be the required setup for the very first time that you are working on your database. These steps are covered in the individual app tutorials and the documentation. But for now, let's go out of here and select sales. Then we're gonna select new up at the top. Okay, this is where I wanna make another quick note. Every document in Odoo has an auto save feature, except settings. The settings application, you still gotta hit that save button. And let's assume you don't trust it. Well, we also have this save manually button that appears up at the top when you make changes to a document, as well as the ability to discard all changes in case you need to override it. I'm gonna override it. I wanna talk about a document that already exists. If we open up something like say this sales order over here, there's these smart buttons up at the top of the page. And what these are is they're basically linked documents and other applications. In this case, we sold what appears to be plans. So look at that nice planning app, smart button that took us directly there. Different types of documents have different types of smart buttons, depending on other apps installed and the records intended to be linked together. For that example, and actually for others, let's go back over to our sales order via the breadcrumbs and let's select our customer contact page. We can actually access it by just clicking their name over here. Wow, there is way more spar buttons on this page. I have many options available. So let's think something quick. I can actually view their sales by clicking on the sales smart button over there. And I can review any related sales orders from right here. Alternatively, I can use the breadcrumbs at the top left, which I keep mentioning. And that navigates me back to my prior page right there. And once that I'm over here on our customer form, you'll see that the breadcrumbs have kept a record of all the steps that we've taken through the app. For instance, I started over here inside of the quotations page, made my way through one of these sales orders, and now we've landed over here to our customer page. Isn't that pretty neat? I could see every movement from the breadcrumbs, so be sure to keep that in mind as you navigate through Odoo. They're super useful. So right now, let's go back to our sales order via the breadcrumbs, and I'm gonna say it like this. I'm gonna point out one more thing before we part ways. On each page, you're gonna see this section over to the right referred to as the chatter. The chatter is a history of actions and messages related to the record. Be sure to check out our other tutorial for more information on this topic. It's done by my very handsome, funny, great co-host, Nathan. So give him some views. Thank you. That concludes our brief overview of how to properly cruise through Odoo. You're doing great. And now you know the ins and outs of navigating through Odoo's super awesome and intuitive interface. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to check out our other videos and go grab a snack.